G'day, welcome to another episode of Built by Dan and yet another installment in my GT40 kit build series. It's been a little while since my last episode, uh, took a bit of a break over Christmas, actually ended up getting sick which is why the content just stopped so suddenly last year and I didn't really close off the year. Uh, so today's episode will largely be trying to cover off on what I wanted to release at the end of last year, which will be a recap as to how far I've managed to get on the build since the start of 2022 through to the end of 2022, as well as looking at what's in store for this year, I suppose, or for the next steps for the build. Uh, and I do have some exciting updates, which I think is going to provide a really big help to me in getting this car across the line. All right, firstly, I just wanted to apologize for the way I ended off last year in that content sort of just stopped. Uh, I had intended to release another episode to sort of wrap up the year. That is what today's episode will be about. Unfortunately, I got sick and I just didn't have the capacity to prepare and release that content. So today's episode, I will be sort of providing a bit of a, a time lapse and a recap on the progress that was made throughout 2022. It was really interesting to produce this episode and see that I was actually installing the front suspension in January 2022. And by December 2022, I was installing the dash and gauges. And today, it kind of looks like I actually have a GT40 sitting in the garage. So before I get into where I'm at today and where we're heading from here on in, I do just want to roll into that recap and I will provide a short summary of each episode. I'll include the, a little title for each episode. So if there's something there that sparks your interest, you can go and have a look at those episodes uh, for those that may have joined late or haven't seen all of them. So we'll kick off with that and then I'll come back and give you a bit of an update on where we're sitting as of today and where I'm looking to head over the next six to 12 months. I'd like to interrupt today's episode to thank Brilliant for sponsoring yet another episode. Is your New Year's resolution to improve your general math, science or computer science knowledge? Learn new topics or continue your journey as a lifelong learner? If it is, you need to check out brilliant.org. Brilliant is a web-based math, science and computer science learning resource for all ages and school levels, covering the basics all the way through to advanced. Brilliant provides short interactive courses on a whole range of math and science topics, making learning new skills and topics fun and engaging by making learning hands-on. I've been using the Brilliant platform for some time now and I've thoroughly enjoyed the simplicity of the platform and the way the courses are structured to progressively build on prior learnings and knowledge. The structure of the courses is quite intuitive. The Brilliant website is compatible on desktop as well as mobile devices, so you can get your daily fix whether you are sitting at your desk or on the move. So if you're looking for a new challenge or something to keep your mind active in this new year, be sure to visit brilliant.org forward slash built by Dan or click the link in the description below to get started for free. On top of that, the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription, giving you access to all courses available with new content being added monthly.
So that wraps up the progress for 2022. So that was the end of 18 months, so one and a half years of this channel and this build progressing. I've also just ticked over 1 million views on the channel, so really happy with that achievement. Let's see what we can do with 2023. Speaking of 2023, let's have a look at where we're at with the vehicle at the moment and what I'm looking to progress over the coming 6 to 12 months. So whilst I have been sick, I have been out here and I did just fit up the body panels onto the vehicle. And of course you can't fit up the body panels without throwing the wheels on as well to get a bit of the overall look. This is the first time all the body panels have been on the vehicle since they were, the factory fitment was done. The car did not come complete. For those that recall that delivery episode or the unboxing episode, essentially I didn't have the side sills on. The doors, the spider and the rear clip were installed and the front clip was just sitting in the front. So this is the first time the car has been, or the body panels have been fully assembled on the vehicle and it looks amazing. In installing these, I did find a couple more issues. The air conditioning condenser that I installed in the front doesn't fit, or the clam, the front clam or clip doesn't fit over the outlet for that, so that's gonna need some modification. But other than that, everything went together pretty well and aligns quite nicely. There will still need to be some fine adjustment, but that will come later. Couple of other things I've been working on. Uh, my brother actually got a 3D printer, so we've been playing around and trying a couple of different things. So just here I have some little brackets, I suppose you'd call them, to assist with the CMCV delete on the stock intake manifold. So just trialing them, trying to get the sizing right. And I've also been playing around with trying to create a bit of an insert for these doors so that I can have a little pocket or recess there just to provide some sort of storage. So this is just an outer lip that I'm printing up to try and get an idea of the overall geometry. They are all sort of out of whack. They're not really consistent. It's really hard to measure because nothing's straight. But getting very close, once that's done, uh, it will be printed with a, with a fairly deep bucket on the back of it, so that you, know, you can at least throw your keys and wallet and whatnot in there. So I'll look at doing one for each of those cutouts in the door card, and then the same thing on the driver's side. So you can see there, I've actually got a gray one just taped on for that rear panel and then I've got the front panel there. I might actually jump around there and show you what my intentions are. So here it is up a bit closer. Again, I'll get the whole bucket printed once I'm comfortable with the overall shape of this face plate. And on this side, I have partly printed some of this recessed bit. This one I've kept on a 45 degree angle because I actually want to mount a switch here for electric mirrors. I'm not going to go with the traditional mirrors only because everybody seems to complain about them and how hard it is and how useless they are to use. So I'm gonna go with a more modern mirror, make them electric so I can actually adjust them from inside the vehicle and make sure I can see what's actually happening around me. Uh, because to be honest, I'm going to be pretty cautious when I'm driving this. It's the other people around me that I don't trust. So I will mount a switch up here on this 45 degree recess and then it'll just shoot straight back in and again, can throw the keys and wallet in there while driving and they're out of the way. So we're going to keep working on that. Uh, this is just printed in, uh, a, a, I think it's PLA, just a, a basic sort of plastic 
uh, from a 3D printer. I will look to print them in ABS once I get the design right. Other than that, moving forward, I fitted the body panels because what I'd like to do is, again, just to help motivate myself a little bit, I suppose, is start fitting off tail lights, license plate holder and lights, the rear grills and the top grill for the rear clip. And then potentially look at fitting it off the, the lights and other bits and pieces, license plate holder on the front clip, just little odds and ends that they have to be done eventually. And I think just seeing it come together a little bit more and look more and more like a, a finished vehicle, or a bit getting closer to looking like a finished vehicle is going to help me motivate me to get back into it. Uh, I can mount my side indicators. I have ordered the switches for on my dash. Uh, I've received a couple of them. I'm still waiting on another bunch to arrive. So once they come through, I can look at finalizing the layout of the switches, the lights and the like on the dash. Still a bit of work to do with the engine. Uh, probably gonna park that one for a little bit and it'll be something that I may end up getting someone involved to help me with to fabricate some new panels. I think this rear panel is going to have to have a bulge fabricated into it to make it work. And yeah, from there on in, to be honest, I don't really know where I'm gonna go from there, but I have a plan in place to give me some ideas. So over the Christmas break, a fellow Melbourneian has reached out to me and he has purchased one of these vehicles from the same manufacturer but it is about 99% complete. It's pretty much just missing an exhaust. So he's offered for me to go and have a look at that vehicle. I will be heading down there shortly to check that out, take a heap of photos, and it's gonna give me a bunch of new ideas and confidence as to how I go about completing and installing the final components of this build. At least, getting the main install done and then obviously I'm probably gonna have to call on a fabricator at some point there's some work I need to do to the oil pan and the like uh, welding up some other sort of bulkhead panels uh, to so that comp different components can fit in properly and I still need to try and get my transaxle fitted so I'm gonna have to call on some help at some stage, but I wanna try and get as much as I possibly can done before I go there, because when I do it, I just wanna to go to somebody or a, say a fabricator and get all those fabrication pieces sorted. Go to an auto elect and get the entire thing wired up, not a little bit here, get the vehicle back, install something else, and then realize I need to take it back to the auto elect to, to wire up something else. So that's the plan of attack. I still don't know time frame. I don't want to put a time frame on it. Um, as much as I would love to get the car completed and on the road sometime this year, I'm not going to try and set that expectation. Uh, I just don't want the disappointment at the end of the year if it doesn't happen, to be honest. So yeah, appreciate you all coming back for 2023. I hope you enjoy the ride and let's see how we go making some more progress this year. So if you want to follow the progress, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help me, the channel, and my motivation as well, knowing that there's people out there that are enjoying this content and want to see more. Look forward to catching up next episode.